Hi everyone, welcome back to Talkie Recaps. Today we are gonna look into 2017 thriller drama movie, The Neighbor. A couple comes to live in a neighborhood and they are going through hard times, more problems arise when another guy becomes obsessed with that married woman. If you are curious enough to know how the married couple handle another guy who is coming between them, watch this video till end. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Mike works as a freelancer from his own house and his wife is into a teaching profession. One day he sees through his window that a new couple has moved in next door. Mike quickly befriends young Jenna and her husband Scott. Actually, Scott is a car dealer. Mike invites the couple for a barbecue party in his house to know them better. Later at night, Mike starts to gossip with her wife Lisa about their new neighbor and also shared with her that he has already invited them for a barbecue. But Lisa becomes unsatisfied because she wants to invite only close ones in the party. On Sunday, they are having barbecue party but Scott is trying to convince Mike's friend to buy a car. When Mike is doing barbecue, Jenna comes to help him. Mike begins to ask queries about their marriage to which she replies they have been married for four months but have dated each other for a long time. Also, Jenna asks help from Mike to make a garden in her new house as she is fascinated by the garden of his house and he said yes. Scott isn't treating Jenna well in the party. He asks her to serve the foods and starts to scold her in front of everyone. Later at night, Mike and Lisa are talking about Scott to which Lisa added Scott is a nice and funny man. But he surely has a different opinion. Later then, Mike is doing his work and from his window, he can see the new neighbor's room. They are having intimate moments there. Then Mike goes to his wife and also wants to be intimate with her. But she refuses saying she needs to do a lot of work and has to woke up early. Next morning, Mike goes to meet Jenna to discuss ideas for her garden and she asks him about his son as she saw the picture of him the previous day while doing barbecue. He tells her that he is in same age as her and has already moved out. She also asks for his suggestions for baby because Scott wants a baby. But she wants to focus on career first to which he replies she can do work from home as he does. While having dinner, Mike begins to talk about Jenna with his wife but she seems uninterested as she is tired coming from her job. Later, Mike sees that Jenna and Scott are loudly discussing with each other and he starts to feel bad for Jenna. Next morning, his friend Brian comes to him and again they talk about Scott. Brian also adds up the fact that Scott doesn't seem a nice guy. At the meantime, Brian tells him that Jenna is a pretty lady and asks Mike to approach her but he takes it as a joke. Later at night, Mike talks with Lisa about their honeymoon. Then they share intimate moment there. Later that day, their son Alex comes to home from college. Mike sees Jenna when he is in the way to grocery store. He wants to talk to her but she ignores him and leaves from there because she is getting late for her yoga class. Mike then visits his friend Brian and he again starts to encourage him for Jenna. When Mike arrives home, Scott is already there who is telling random story to Lisa and their son. After that, he invites whole family to the dinner but Lisa says she can't come as she has tight work schedule. Only Alex accepts the dinner invitation, Mike sees that Alex has made a good bond with the family and he doesn't like it at all. So he talk with Lisa about Alex hanging out with Scott and his wife to which she replies that Alex is a grown-up man now and can't control his life. Mike is obsessed with Jenna that's why he keeps close eye on her. One day, when she is throwing trashes, he goes to help her and also, he inquires about the fighting reasons with Scott to which she replies nothing is serious. Sometimes he becomes out of control due to alcohol. Then two of them go to buy plants for their garden. While returning, he begins to share his smoking stories of him when he was young, she also tells him that she does smoke. After arriving home, Jenna and Mike starts to smoke. She shares with him that Scott always had a anger issues but it's even growing these days. Actually Scott wants a baby but she is still confused. She tells Mike that she did a mistake marrying with Scott to which Mike replies don't let Scott control over your life. After this, 
they starts to hug and kiss each other. Later that night, Lisa tells Mike that she is also planning to join yoga classes along with Jenna. But Mike acts mysteriously after hearing this from his wife. Lisa feels strange and jokingly she says Jenna is young and beautiful and begins to inquire about his feelings towards Jenna but he completely ignored it and takes it as a silly thing. Later that day, Mike hears the loud screaming of Jenna and it was due to the fight between Jenna and Scott. He goes to look out in their house but Scott tells him to go his house and everything is fine in here. Mike then asks Jenna, is everything alright to which she replies yes. But Mike is still there due to which Scott becomes more furious. He begins to suspect him and inquires him about his feelings towards his wife. Actually Scott has seen Mike secretly looking Jenna time and again. Mike becomes disturbed and leaves from there. Coming home, he shares everything to Lisa and she tells him not to jump in another family's personal matters. While Mike watches as the young couple's relation begins to unravel, his own marriage starts falling apart. That's why he plans to leave the house, but he decides to talk to Jenna one last time. Jenna tells him that she is not going to live with Scott anymore and is planning to go to her ex-boyfriend's house. At the very time, Mike also shares with her that he is also leaving his house. Mike is planning to rent an apartment and so he invites her too. Jenna doesn't like this plan and the kiss was just a mistake. In fact she doesn't have any feelings towards him. Mike then leaves from there and he calls his son, he tells him that he has some misunderstanding going with his mother so he decides to stay out for a while. One day, Brian comes to meet him and again starts to ask questions relating to Jenna. Actually Brian has seen her in the signal and is still living with Scott. After hearing this, he feels quite strange and later goes to his house to take some of his things but his actual motive is to see Jenna. The two of them starts to talk and Jenna reveals that she is pregnant now and she is quite happy about it. She also shares with him that she and Scott is visiting couple counseling to short out problems between them. After this, Mike also realizes his bad doings. So he goes to Lisa to solve their disputes but Lisa completely ignores him. Later at night, Jenna seems upset and is smoking outside her house. Mike encounters her and tells her, it's not good for the child. At the meantime, Scott arrives and begins to scold Jenna. He starts pulling her inside the house and Mike tries to stop him but he couldn't. That's why they start fighting, Mike gets knocked down but he again goes inside their house and starts to fight again. Mike hits him hard with a golf bat and blood spill from his head. Jenna becomes scared and begins to scold Mike for his doings. He asks her to leave the house and calls the ambulance whereas Scott has already died at the spot. This was the story of movie, The Neighbor. Let's summarize this at once, Mike and Jenna were actually faulty characters. Scott didn't treat Jenna right but still she wanted to settle with him. Also, Mike wasn't happy with his married life that's why he got obsessed with young and pretty, Jenna. So he got into the personal matters of a couple and ultimately he murdered Scott. If you like it and would like to see more videos like this, show some support to our YouTube channel. Take care.